What's up, everyone? Hey, Fel3. Hey, Bedroad. Let's get the game going here in just a moment. There it goes. Yep. Hey. We're 100 percenting the first game, right? I mean, you would think. Um, so, yeah, uh, last stream was a couple weeks back. Uh, we wrapped up the Sonic Adventure 1, which was a very fun time, even though I struggled at times with it. But honestly, overall, that game holds up over 20 years later, which is pretty impressive. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 was the thing that I had planned to, to stream next. Um, unfortunately, uh, who? After a week and change of troubleshooting, I could not get Sonic Adventure 2 to properly run on Windows 10. And then, uh, and then well, yeah, I, it, it was a lot of back and forth. I, I was literally at one point hand editing, um, like, audio files for the music so that you could actually understand people in cutscenes because the subtitles weren't working right. Long story short, um, we're not streaming <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2. I may... I may try it some more, um, so yeah, we'll see if we we may try it again in the future. If not, I have a backup for next week. We'll talk about that more later. Uh, and no worries, Fall3, I'm sorry that this has sort of added to a, a not-so-great day. Um, but yeah, we're going to do just a long play of Inside, which is by the same people who made Limbo, but honestly, I kind of like it more. So we'll try it and uh, and go from there. And honestly, it's kind of a, a game to um, to give me a, a week to figure out what we're doing next. But also because uh, it's BlizzCon weekend. And I know for a fact that I'm going to be ranting a lot between that and the Nintendo Direct that came out um, about other stuff. So this is, is kind of an excuse for background noise. Um, somewhat horrible, terrifying background noise at times. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Bad Road, if you wouldn't mind... Uh, hitting uh, bang CW in the chat as I was remiss and forgot to, I would greatly appreciate it. This is probably fine. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, as the content warning there kind of alludes to, uh, Inside is a horror game. Um, where you're a kid, again, much like Limbo, although not as dark as Limbo in both a literal sense and also, I think, uh, in just a, a thing... Um, but yeah, that's as much as I want to say about it, because I don't want to spoil anything with it. Um, just a cute little, pretty, a cute little game. It's a cute little horror game, which I mean that in the general sense. Oof, I'm sorry. Then yeah, this will probably not be the right stream. It, it stays horror-y through most of it, and then kind of takes a turn, but only at the very end, so not, not really. Uh, whoop, oh no. Speaking of which. I've been playing too much Resident Evil 6, so, like, the hiding mechanics are a little bit different. I'm sure this is probably fine. I can't remember if I have a run button. I know I have a jump button and a use button, but I don't think I have a run button. There's that use button. Hooray, a fridge! Yep. Oh, no dogs. Hey, Christy! It's gonna run over this open gap where the dogs are. I'm sure it'll be fine. As we all know, dogs have terrible hearing and an even worse sense of smell. That's, that's the thing, right? That's what they say? We're about to find out because I just heard a wolf. There we go. Uh, so, this is a game that I, I have had for a while and only just recently played. Um, weirdly enough, because I needed a break from troubleshooting Sonic Adventure 2 that didn't work. Uh, and did not expect to beat it in one go. That was really unexpected. I think I've done something wrong here, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. Maybe not, maybe not. If I can just whoop. Okay, it's fine. That's that's supposed to happen. Um, 
because like I played Limbo, which is by Playdead, the same studio, uh, and I love Limbo. I think it's a, a wonderful game, but I am very bad at it. Like Limbo kicks my butt. Um, not even the part with the spiders, which I expected would be the worst part. Um, I mean, it was the worst part in that, but not like in terms of gameplay. But then this one came along and it did, for me at least, much, much easier uh, to, to figure out the puzzles and things like that, which is really me just um, begging. That That's me just leaning into the hubris. Um, because now that I'm saying, oh, this game is super easy, means that we're absolutely going to get stumped somehow, even though I've beaten it already. Because, you know, that's that's how my... Oh, I need to run back. They straight up shot us. This isn't E.T. at all. This is like original E.T. where they had guns instead of walkie-talkies. Bad Road, I honestly think that you would love Limbo. Um, I don't know that I know as, as much anymore about the types of games that you like to play, but just for the aesthetic of it. And it's a fairly cerebral puzzler. Uh, the biggest downside is that Kind of like with the Portal games, there are times when you know what you have to do, and it's all about executing. And those were, those were some rough patches. But the the resets are so quick, kind of like Super Meat Boy, that you can keep retrying a bit. Uh, and it's very good. Hey, Al. This is probably fine. Let me back up just a bit so we can see. Uh, uh hmm. This super isn't Sonic Adventure. Hopefully I updated the title. I, I thought I hit the stream update information, but if not, then... Uh, one second, let me outrun this Yahoo, and then... Oh, right. There's a, there's a hold up and stop moment. Let me re-update the thingy. Update. Update again. Update a third time. Okay, there it goes. Sweet. All right, because I switched off of the window. Let's go back. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this is inside. Because I couldn't get Sonic Adventure 2 to work on Windows 10. Um, what, what's what? I mean, okay, so let's actually talk about that some more because it's kind of funny to me. Uh, I kind of got Sonic Adventure 2 working eventually and very badly uh, after... Again, like a week of troubleshooting, having to run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP. Y'all remember XP from way on back. Um, adjusting the audio levels so you could actually hear characters in cutscenes because you couldn't natively. Um, having to, to redo file formats. Um, change up how DirectX worked. There was a lot. I, I was like three deep in Reddit threads trying to figure out how to make it work. It was bad. Um, and I did finally get it to run. There was a, a whole thing where uh, it it didn't want to run because my monitor had a refresh rate that was too high. Uh, so it ran, but like the visuals were outpacing the audio. That was fun. I should have streamed it just for that. Um, but then I got it working. And this is the worst part. This is the, the heinous, awful, no good, very bad part that I'm just... Ugh. It finally worked, and, um, you know, worked, like, at speed and with good audio balance and things like that after, I think I probably put, like, 20 hours of work into trying to get the thing to work. And it ran, and it was playable, and it recognized my controller, and yada, 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 yada. And then I played the first, like, three hours of this game, which is, like, a 10 to 12 hour game based on the first one. Um, and I gotta be honest, y'all... I hate it so far. Like I might, I might try it again. I've already, I've already like walked away from it and come back and tried it again and still hate it. Um, but like Sonic Adventure One, we struggled with a little bit, but I genuinely enjoyed it. Sonic Adventure Two sucks so far. Um, and right, it's kind of under my my. Uh, ever since we went on the hiatus uh, over the winter break, one of my my rules is. I'm not going to play something just for completionist's sake. I'm going to play stuff that's fun. And so far, Sonic Adventure 2 is not fun. So I'm not promising that we're ever going to stream it. Which is a shame, because, like, it's... Sonic Adventure 2 is the whole reason I streamed Sonic Adventure 1. But, like, somehow Sonic Adventure 1 is better? The the gameplay is just way better. Um, 
I guess the level design, like, I, I'm less likely to get lost in Sonic Adventure 2, but all of the gameplay sequences feel worse, which is incredible because it's reusing a lot of very similar kind of stuff, but it's all bad. Um, so, like I said, I, I might I might give it one last college try at some point. Chickens! Um, but as of right now, I, I don't think we're streaming that one. I'm concerned about these pigs. I feel like there was a plague. It does have a very uh, a Plague Tale Innocence kind of look at first. Hey, there we go. Chickens! Chickens! Oh, let's try that again. I gotta run, like, way over here. Uh, so, if you're a fan of baby chicks, now might be a good time to look away for, like, 30 seconds. I'm just that's that's as much that's as much as I can say. Look, they're fine. They're fine. See, they're still running around. They're great. As we all know, babies are rubble rubble yeah. Babies are rubber and can bounce. There we go, got there. Bye chickens. Oh, the axe, that would have been good. I don't think so. But I like where your head's at. That's the kind of thinking that we'll need later. <laughs> Oh, the, the, you meant the lever. I mean, it's a barn. It wouldn't surprise me if there was also an axe. Into the pigs! Yuck. Just, just yuck. I spent too much time around pigs not to be able to smell parts of this sequence. You, whoop. So, I promised myself today that I would not use like this whole stream oh that's not good we're in mud uh as like a, a you know three hour reaction video for blizzcon which started yesterday and, and is wrapping up as we speak um but i'm gonna rant a little bit about it so just uh, preempting people for that now that if you're listening to that going that sounds terrible um then you know you don't need to hear about blizzard stuff because honestly who wants to hear about blizzard stuff oh no Ooh. Ah. Whoop. Yay. Thank you, big. The kid just looks exhausted. I mean, yeah. You're not wrong. I can't I can't use the pig as a platform. Uh, hi. Whoop. Whoop. Sorry, piggy. He just ran through the woods chased by dogs, trucks, and men with guns. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I should have warned you for that. I forgot that was a thing that happened. I thought I'd skip right ahead to this part, which is it's awful, but less awful. This is a, a real thing that you can do humanely with pigs, is just, you know, encourage them to move in a direction. But the first thing, not so much. Sorry about that. Hopefully my memory is better for some of the other ones. Oh, yeah, this is what it, when you realize that it's sci-fi, because um, now we're moving the people in the back. This is when I realized that this game was made by the same people who made Limbo. Alright, so if I have you guys hold on to the thing, and I walk y'all over to it, and then everybody lift together. There we go. And we go. So now we're controlling a hive mind of mannequin-like individuals, which is probably fine. Oh, that's right, I have to pull it. Pull it this way. I'm just kind of relieved we found a pig that's still alive. I mean, fair. All right, let's, uh, I think I'm gonna put you guys back in here. I think you'll be safer in here. Uh, yeah, this game is deeply creepy, and I, I hate to say that the creep has not, well, it has begun, but it's just gonna keep finding new ways to go. You thought that was creepy? Just wait till you see what's next. <laughs> Inside, it's probably fine. Can I lift this one? Ha ha, strong kid. I do like, it, and again, so comparing this game to Limbo, which again is also in its own right a masterpiece, um, but just it's so much easier to see in this game. <laughs> I have I have better than average eyesight, and I regularly find myself squinting at like full on AAA games, let alone the um, viewed through an old dusty projector that is uh, Limbo. 
Which I mean, that's part of it. That that's the ambiance, but it's still kind of like, uh, what? Where a lot of times I'm just running into things, going, I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, so we pull this out. That makes the chain go the wrong way. Right, the line of people just standing there is not at all troubling. Um, it's fine. It's totally fine. Chain. That's the sound of the boy. Working on the chain. Gang. Here we go. Uh, I lift the window. I lift the window. And I think it's just inside, for whatever reason, a game that has almost no tutorializing. Well, okay, let me, let me not say that. Has no on-screen, like, button prompts. You don't know... Like, you don't even know you have a jump or a use button unless you just hit buttons and see what happens. Um... But I found this game really intuitive, and I love that. It's become very rare for me. <laughs> uh, Alright, two levels that we can go to. Uh, we can swing this. I keep expecting something to like pop out at us. If I remember right, I've only played this once a couple weeks ago, but if I remember right, the game does have like a couple of jump scares, but not many. And and very importantly, it doesn't rely on them. Most of the horror in this game is just dread and that kind of feeling you get when you look at something and go, oh, that's conceptually horrible. Um, but in terms of just like, uh, boo kind of moments, uh, it's pretty rare, which I think is honestly good horror design. Jump scares have their place, but they're just, they're very overused. It's fine. Like a lot of things, they have their place, and their place is not everywhere. And that seems to have been whoop, a problem in a lot of horror game design, to be honest. This is a safe on a chain for no reason. How did they get it up here? Whoop. Oh, I tried to jump. I tried to jump, and I failed. Another good thing about this game, honestly, is how good the resetting is. The invisible checkpointing. Look at that. Perfect. Whoop! There we go. That looks safe. God damn it, veteran. <laughs> eh, eh. Oop, nope, it's fine. Got it. Good arms, kiddo. This kid gets their ass kicked harder than Laura Croft. Ugh. A, you are correct. B, you just reminded me that Tomb Raider 2013 exists and like, ugh. It's better in Rise of the Tomb Raider, but not... Not better enough. I thought about streaming that game for a long time, and I, I might still because I like that game a lot, and it's the only one of the new trilogy that is worth at all any of its salt. What is this thing? Oh, these things. These are like collectible things, I think. Maybe? Yes. No worries. <laughs> I'm never far away from thinking about the new Tomb Raider series because those games had so much potential and yuck. Uh, what does this lever do? This kid has ankles of steel. Inside kid and shell from Portal are going to be hanging out. Alright, I bet if I let this go, that comes down, right? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. That comes later. Into the mind control helmet. Hey, it's us. Same hat. Literally, same hat. <laughs> Yeah, Chell has the shock boots, which is good. Uh, okay, do I remember? I hate, I hate, I hate the pose that they go into. Like, I guess it's better than ragdolling, but it's almost not for me. That they just sort of, you know, knees to the chest, head down, slowly slump when you let go. And it's like, oh no. And then the slow rise. It's the worst. Alright, so that... I used to remember what to do here. Uh, let's see. That's going to change where y'all are at. Oh, oh, the buttons. There are buttons on the floor there. That's why I had to change the the distance between them. There we go. I've had folks end up in that pose after I killed them in Dishonored. I mean, that's just kind of the... the... Dishonored was Bethesda? It was Arcane Studios, but it was Bethesda. Um, but it is kind of the way where, like, when you have... 
any kind of corpse physics, there's a chance for all sorts of weird body origami. Which is a term I wish I hadn't said out loud, but here we are. Squishy, squishy, squishy. <laughs> C. Last weekend, what was the date of, uh, of some of the best uh, body origami um, <laughs> in, uh, in media? That's true. Whoop. Get the pipe. Also oh. one of the best critters in uh, Hannibal. <laughs> Up the fence we go. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, while we've got this uh, less intense sequence before things get really wild, um, there's a secret ending? I didn't know that. So that's a no. Uh, I only beat it once, so i only seen the one. Um, is the secret ending you collect all the things? Because that is the only variable I can think of. Cool, all right. Uh, I remember doing this one wrong the first time. You can't, you can't jump onto drain pipes. You actually have to go down. Oh, cool. Part of it is that. That makes sense. Whoop. Let's just, just ignore that glum procession in the background there. There we go. Hey. I just realized what this game reminds me of, actually. A lot of the controls in this are sort of like little nightmares. Which, you know, as much as I struggle with that one, great game. I've been... I'm, I'm very tempted to pick up Little Nightmares 2 at some point. Can I move this? Yeah, I can move this. Yep. Chonk. Perfect. Because the first game was just so good. Oh! That's a... That's a... Uh, that's a Wally. That's a big Wally. Oh, what were they called at the end of the movie? The big ones? The Wall A's or whatever they were? They were the, the big robots. I know I talked about being able to see in this game, but now I'm kind of just making it up as I go along. All right. But yeah, big robots. What good robots who will probably totally murder us as soon as I flip this switch. It's fine. Hide. Nee, stay out of it. Whoop. Almost. I tried to double back and that was a mistake. I should have just stayed. They have little tasers. And by little tasers, I mean normal sized, huge tasers. All right, it seems like the game is very forgiving. It just sort of snaps me to cover here, which is very good. Love that in a game. What good friends. I'm sure they're just part of the normal operating budget here. So speaking of horrible things, while we're playing a horrible game, um, that is actually a very good game, just about horrible things. Uh, so I mentioned earlier BlizzCon, and I keep mentioning it because I, I don't I don't know how to segue into how just annoying I am about it. Encoding overloaded. One moment. Let's make sure. Okay. Give that a second to catch up. We may have just dropped some frames. And we drop the kid. <laughs> Quick, act natural. Uh. <laughs> this part is fine. Just have to act exactly like the zombies. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh. Oh, no, yeah, well, that's... So doubling back is always a bad call, is what I'm learning. <laughs> There's a lot of good world building for a game with no dialogue, and I don't like the world that's been built. <laughs> it's fair. I used to know the timing on this. We'll get there. I think it's eight steps. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine steps. Could really do without this camera just right on us like some kind of, you know, Amazon manager.
they're jumping. Six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. We gotta jump in the box. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jump. Nailed it. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jump. Ooh, a little early. It's fine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't jump. This is just a, a wild metaphor for what it's like being anyone like non-neurotypical in society. It's cool, just watch what everyone else is doing and do the same thing. We caught up, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I really shouldn't have started like trying to segue into something else right before doing this sequence because there's this is not a multitaskable bit of inside, at least not for me. I appreciate that the the human observer watching this also didn't notice the one person with a red shirt, but assuming that they're just like randomly kidnapping people for this, maybe they don't really bother to make them change. They're just targeting goths, so everyone's in gray and black. Is this when I'm supposed to run? We're gonna go with yes. <laughs> Whee! Oh, this kid is super dead. But it's fine because video games. Alright, now we have to deal with the dogs thing. I don't do dogs. Now, does the dog know how to jump down? What's more important is it doesn't know how to jump up. Yep. Mind control time. Wake up. I just, I love the, I love this game. I love all the little things that this game does. It's very good. Uh, all right. Does Andy remember how to do this one? Bonk. All right, so we need to make a way for the up top friend. Let's grab... This box is probably important, huh? Uh, so this, I think, will let me... Let's see what's ahead first. Will let me jump up and grab the mind control thingy. Got it. Alright. Uh, Alright. Let's, let's put all the pieces together. Oh! Box! Silly. I already have the piece. It's the one piece. <laughs> you know, like that show. Coding overloaded again, huh? All right, hang tight just a second. It's... You really, uh, really having some trouble with this, huh, bud? That's nope. That's about as that's as small as it gets. <laughs> and back. How's the stream holding up for y'all? Oh, that's right. I need to. I know. I remember what I need to do now. I need to do this thing. Zip. Whoop. Hopefully the video does not look choppy on your end. If it does, let me know. I need to leave this here so I can get back to it without the box. Somewhat. Yeah. I can never tell if the things that OBS is telling me are like genuine or if it's the closest error it knows what to describe and the problem is really that Twitch is bad. There we go. Up. There we go. Time to moonwalk. Ah, da da da. Ah, dee dee dee. Da da da. Ah, ba -doop. Oh, oh, I remember this bit. Ah, uh, do I remember how to do this bit? That's a good question. Ah, uh, all right. So, and I'm gonna have other me jump up. So now, now we have, um, like, Matryoshka dolls of mind control, which is just wild. All right, so I can't, I can't tell this one to let go of the thing. 
uh, unless I let go of the thing. If I let go of the thing, I'm going to fall and die. So I need to go over here. Uh, let's see. I can go down. There are stairs here. I can't remember if we actually use the stairs. No, because it's, it's actually 2D, even though it looks like it's 3D. Oh, okay, but that dropped the front. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So now with that, we can do like... Meh. Uh, all right. Got it. I need to I need to make this friend uh, stop when they're on top of the button. Got it. Okay. So I need this. We got to kind of reset. It's fine. Do 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 do. Whoop. Missed it. Grab a hair. Grab a hair. There. Up. Oh. Missed it. <laughs> there we go. We got there. Use this to bring us back. Oop, doo -doo. Nope, nope. There. So now actual me is in a good place. Put you on the button. There. Whoop. And now it doesn't matter that number two is unconscious because they're on the button. And have become a box. And away we go. That's That's probably fine. That's probably fine. It's just, yeah, it's a big, big, huge opening. Hey, Bob, would you mind? Thanks, Bob. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go all the way to the other end. Give myself time for that to close. <laughs> Whoops. Did it? All right, so we'll stop at the near end here. The Nier Entomata. So apparently there's a new Nier game coming out in like mid to late April. Don't know what I think about that. I I streamed, or I played Nier Automata a little bit uh, just on my own because it was on uh, Game Pass back when I had Game Pass. Uh, and yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I, have, I have so many opinions about it, but it is interesting. Here we go. Who needs a breath meter? But the new one I think is like near replicant. Uh, boy can absolutely drown. Although at this time in my first playthrough, I did not know that. I learned. Well, like you can probably guess how I learned. <laughs> this is like that scene in The Last of Us, except you know, better. So, back to, to horrible video games. Listen, I found my segue at last. I'm going to stick with it. Um, so, yeah, I, I uh, am still... Uh, I have a long history of being a sucker for Blizzard products. And this actually, like... 2019, or late 2019, was the, the first time that I finally just sort of hit a limit. Where I just stopped giving a crap about pretty much all things Blizzard. Um... And, you know, it was kind of a weird a weird feeling after having been a huge fan of theirs since, like, the early 90s. To finally be like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm good. Um, but BlizzCon was free this year, so I'm like, well, I'm not giving them any money. I might as well check out and see what's going on and what's being announced. Um, and there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of, of expected stuff, you know, COVID delays and things like that. Not surprising. The thing that, that, uh, so, like, first, the thing that didn't surprise me is that they, they, uh, announced more of, like, I think both Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 have officially been delayed till next year, which I appreciate them saying now as opposed to waiting till the summer. Um, but not surprising. Like, those are big games, and it, it's still widely believed that Overwatch 2 was announced early just to distract from the whole Blitzchung thing. But it actually seems like the devs for Overwatch are, are, kind of enjoying it, which I was not expecting. Um, they thought that they're having a lot of fun with it, so I'm... The hype that I had lost for it is, is coming back a little bit, because it might be the stuff that I enjoy about Overwatch gameplay, but in a completely co-op, non-PV environment, or non-PVP environment. Um, and that part makes me happy. I forgot what I have to do here. I probably have to swim down, right? 
But I don't have to worry about that till next year, and there'll be you know, more info by then, I'm sure. So I'm looking forward to that part. Uh, the thing that blew me away was that they announced um, Diablo 2 Resurrected. And up until now, I have not given the smallest of fucks for any of the, the other remasters. Like, WoW Classic, my first reaction was just to say, why? Um, Warcraft 3 Reforged? I, I don't know. Uh, I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. But Diablo 2 is one of those games that I've just never gotten out of my head. And it's still technically playable, just it, it takes some work. Um, and it's in, like, 320 <laughs> resolution. Uh, so it's not great. Oh, oh, it's a timing thing. It's a timing thing. Got it. Um, got it. Now I understand what I was missing. Uh, all right, Diablo 2 is the reason I played Path of Exile. I was, I was debating getting into it specifically because people kept talking about it like it was Diablo 2. Um. Which is maybe not the best reason to get into a game, but when you're missing, when you're jonesing for a specific kind of gameplay experience, and someone says, "Hey, this is like that," that's usually a pretty good reason to to try it out. Um, I wonder if this is buoyant. Anyway, uh, so that got me thinking about, oh, okay, well now I might actually be picking something up because that's supposed to come out this year. Uh, and the thing that to me is the the coolest about it is that. It it sounds like from the the dev panel I watched that they're they're uh, gonna improve the graphics and do some quality of life stuff. All the things that people were doing anyway, like uh, your stash will be shared between characters, so you don't have to create mules and weird like servers just to try and transfer items. Again, stuff that people had found workarounds for, they're just putting into the game as quality of life improvements, which I think is good. But the thing that they they're doing the least to to tinker with at all is the uh, the music and the sounds, which was just absolute, pardon the pun, music to my ears, because, like, the music of Diablo 2 lives in my head rent-free and probably always will. And there are lots of little sound design notes on that one, too, that are really, really good. Uh, and it sounds like they're pretty dedicated to leaving those as is because they know that they're really good. Um, so that it's the first one that I'm like, okay, now this I'm hyped for. So at least the con wasn't a total waste. Uh, I was still pretty pissed off the like the second they opened up and fucking J. Allen Brack came out with a, a Pride Rainbow Blizzard shirt on and I just wanted to punch my laptop, but that's neither here nor there. Fuck that dude. Yeah, da, 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 da. Is this enough? We'll find out. Whoop! It is! Oop. Nope. Back of the cage. That was the light I was waiting for. Yep. Shorting your spotlight. It isn't there until you get close enough. Alright. Oh, there's a hatch. Got it. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. How how far over do you go? Not far enough. Come on. Ooh. This game is exceedingly good about uh, the fake out. Making you absolutely certain that you have just been caught or just barely gotten away. It's very, very good at that. It's very good at a lot of things. Whoop. Down the chain. Sound design of this one is also phenomenal, but again, when the, the people who made Limbo, which was basically all about its sound design, put this one together, it's not really surprising. It just makes you think that you're in this absolute iron cavern. It's like Bad Road was saying, the amount of world building they do with zero dialogue is really impressive. Dogs. It's fine. It's fine. It's 
Fine. Everyone knows dogs can't swim. Better question is, do the dogs know that I can swim? This is my least favorite part because I can never remember how to... Yeah. I think I have to lure the dog to the water and then run back. The dogs are one of the one the one of the only parts of this game that are constantly making me like um that's right that's right the dogs can swim that's how I get away from them. I always forgot about that part. Because now dog will be slow I will be fast. Hooray! Up we go. Up we go. No, look, I'm over here now. Better better run back the way you came. Come on. Faster. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Nope. You really have to bait the dogs. That's awful in every way possible. Can we skip that? Thank you. What a checkpoint that is. <laughs> and run. Run, small child. There are Pokemon in that wild grass. And once we see them around the corner. There we go. Perfect. You really cannot skimp on time in this camp. Well, shoot. Yeah, this is a, there's a reason that I put this one very specifically. I was thinking about listing under animal attack in the content warnings, but I specifically was like, dog attack, because if you've ever been attacked by a dog, it's a unique form of terror all its own. It's just, it's, it's both a common enough occurrence for humans, but also, like, it's a very specific kind of awful. It's a bad time. It's a bad time. Exactly right. I think this uh, this sequence, which if I remember right, I think this is also the last dog sequence because this is like the final boss of dog. Um, this was about the point in the game where I'm like, okay, well, it actually kind of gets less horrifying from here for me personally. Like, I don't know that that's necessarily a good metric to go by globally, but nothing really tops this. There we go. We are past the final boss of Dog. And down the ladder. Down the ladder. It's the barking. Yeah. Yeah. I realized, um... Growing up, luckily enough to have a, a, a wonderful dog in uh, my golden retriever. Um, well, I mean, he's a mutt, but he's mostly golden. Uh, oh, a bathysphere. That's just hide. Um, that my whole street, which was like nine houses, everybody had dogs. Um, and it was the full range from like little yappy dogs to the big boofers. Um, and I learned specifically the sound of dogs that I was scared of. So they're like, there are, are certain barks that will bother me and other ones are fine. And having also been a kid with a paper route, like I got well versed in the nature of dog barking. And there were just some people in the South. I mean, uh, this is probably true everywhere, I guess, but it didn't specifically where I grew up who were not, great at the whole how to properly raise a dog thing. <laughs> All right, we're going to Rapture. <laughs> exactly. Would you kindly? Boy, that series really started out strong, huh? It's a shame about Infinite. I might... I 
I might stream Bioshock 2 specifically at some point. I don't know if I'm if I'm in the smaller group thinking that, that Bioshock 2 is the best Bioshock game, but I really like that game. It just, the story that it tells is my favorite. I think that those dogs were not puppy. You know, in this one case, we'll make an exception. Right, Sue will be shooting bees out of her hand. Yeah, at this point, whatever Play Dead makes next, whatever the, the... I don't know if they've made a third game already, but if they have another game after the Limbo and Inside duo, um, I'm absolutely going to at least try it, because, boy howdy, are they good at, at atmosphere. They're pretty darn good at gameplay, especially after this one, but uh, the atmosphere in particular, very, very good. Crunch. Nope, one more, huh? Charge. Kaboom! I missed. Is it down here? Is it like... Here, where the crumbly bits are. It's like where the wild things are. Oh, right, hang on, I think I remember this part. Apologies, because this next little bit is um, kind of difficult to see visually in a lot of ways. Oh, wait, is it not? Do I not go up the thing? Try lower. Now that we have the bathysphere, lower is totally fine. That's the floor. Try hit it lower. Let's try like down here. Oh yeah, like right here. Okay, I was trying to go straight over, and we went up. Let's see if I can if I lower myself. Kabong. I don't think that's gonna let us kabong. What's this thing up above us? Is this open? This is not open. I think I need this thing open. But I, oh, hang on, I'm a silly. I can get out of the thing. Like, down here, under the water. No, I can't. Can I get out of it here, and then swim down? Because I can go through here. Because I am not a bathysphere. As far as I know. I think I also made that mistake the first time. So I've got the brightness all the way turned up. It's hard to tell. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thank you, Bad Road. These look like school lockers. That's probably fine. Not at all concerning. So I haven't picked it up yet. I was debating picking up... Um, what you call it, Little Nightmares 2. Uh, because I've heard that, that you don't play as the character from the first game, as Six, but you, uh, Six makes an appearance. And, like, I fell in love with that character. Absolute... Oh, that's not okay. Um, with that character after we played Little Nightmares, the first one. So I'm like, I kind of want to see what the second one's all about. Uh... I don't think we're going to stream it next, regardless. We might stream it later this year. Alright, I think we just fall, and they'll be carried by their own momentum. So we're just going to, like, this. And down, so they don't sink and kill us. And now back up. If boy could walk sideways, this would be easier. Yeah, we got a real, like, Prometheus problem going on. Just turn left! That's true. Lots of institutions that are not schools do use lockers like that. That's a good point. Alright. So now that we've opened this door and have removed the barrels of death, let's see what's behind it. Oh. 
Oh, right, yes. The underground forest. That's totally fine and good and normal. And then there are these things. A spring? And that's just cool. Let's try that again. I have to commit this sound to memory because we're going to need to... There are a couple of those that we're going to have to like activate and then do something else while it's charging up. A lot in this game is, is timing based on auditory cues, which unfortunately does make it a little bit less accessible. Uh, but it's still quite nice when it works well. Lower Croft 2! There we go. Button. Button. Oh! That's the thing! That's the door we couldn't open. Alright, so now we gotta back through. Whoop! That's probably fine. It's probably fine. And breach! Splash! Ah, the majestic bathysphere make their way back up the waterfall to return to their spawning grounds. Maybe you are a bathysphere. I mean, yeah. Cool. I think I already liked this game by the time that I got here, but this, this section alone would have done it if I didn't already enjoy it. Uh, okay. Now, does Andy remember how to get... I mean, I can probably just charge out that door, right? Right, the structure clearly was not always flooded just based on what looks like evidence of other stuff, you know, stairs and things that you wouldn't put in an underwater layer, probably. Also, we're already deep underground. So based on the water level, probably somewhere coastal? Okay, alright. Let's, let's piece this together. Alright, so there's the G-door. We can't take the sub through this thing, but I'm betting we can swim between it. And there's a button. And we can't push the button from in the bathysphere. So. You found the G-door? I thought it was a myth. No, bad road. Bad. <laughs> Sploosh. I guess it didn't really... Let's find out what the button does. Maybe the button doesn't open the door. I don't want to. I don't want to make this grand plan and then find out the button does something else. Yep. And down we go. Button. Oh, button lowers the water level. Got it. Okay. I'm going to bet we probably can't. Yeah, we can't clear that. Okay. So we have to leave the sub on that side, come back and lower the water level, and then swim through the open water where we've just discovered that there is a friend. This is fine. What could possibly go wrong? Over here, we're going to leave you just on the other side of that thing, because I don't want to have to be outside of this any longer than we have to. Right, friend with a capital F. There was someone swimming in the foreground uh, a little bit ago when we got out of the bathysphere. Uh, we have not seen the last of them. Hey, did you? <laughs> Who are you? A friend. Anyone's friend in particular, or just generally well disposed to people? Okay. Alright, this is fine. No friend sighting. So, we're probably okay. Seems like. Yeah, alright. I panicked for nothing. Story of my life. Whee! Splash! That's fun every single time. I want a game that's just the bathysphere like breaching out of water. That would be great. Ah, friend! Hi, friend! 
you're you're just kind of you're just kind of th I love your hair. Um you're not drowning. So um hmm there is not bad road, which is a shame. In fact, there's not even much of an audio cue. It just sort of happens. Our friend is a troll doll. I mean, kind of. Love the floating desk chair. No, 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 no. You stay over there, please. At least six feet. Stay. No. This one's always fun. No. No, I said. So I don't know uh, if I'm going to mess this up at some point. Um, if I do, you'll find out why I'm so very eager to keep our friend at a distance. Uh, because them coming to say hi is actually quite terrifying. Nope, that's, a, that's, a, that's the ceiling. And I'd rather not relive it if I can help it. So just, you know, take my word for it. Uh, hmm. Is there a crack on the wall I'm not seeing? No, 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 I said. No. No. <laughs> I want to know what happens if Fred catches us, but I'm not sure I want to see it. I tell you what, if we get through this section faultless somehow, uh, I'll tell you all about it. First, I gotta remember what I'm doing here. Oh, here it is. Got it. It's right above me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, oh, right, yes, now I remember, now I recall, now I remember what I must do. Close the door. So after we do that, uh, that pulse chargey thingy, uh, there's a moment where we lose our light. And this thing takes two hits. So we did not want to do that while we had friend in here who is only held at bay by light. Ask me how I know. <laughs> eh? Eh, I'm taking you with me! I'm not. I'm not taking you with me. Which is a shame, because I love Bathysphere. Hey, Xenon! Welcome to our video, Jame! That is not at all a Sonic adventure. It is a terrifying child adventure. Which is... Sort of like certain Sonic continuities. There's a lot going on in the Sonic verse. We don't, we don't, any, no, nobody's got time for all that. Right, so I said if we got out of there without doing the thing. Um, so if you let friend get too close, or if you don't have a light and you don't have a choice and friend gets too close anyway, um, friend cracks open the glass of the bathysphere and uh, rushes in and then the uh, like violins in the background get all horrifying and uh, there's horrible awful noises and then the screen fades to black I don't recommend it Xenon it's appropriate that you've joined us whoop uh, you did miss the um, the kind of rude puppies from earlier but that's probably fine Yeah, uh, underwater friend catching you is, um, I don't know if it's the worst death in the game. I don't know that I have a, I don't know that I experienced all of them, but it's, it's up there. It's up there. Yeah, the content warnings are, uh, are no joke on this one. <laughs> it's appreciated, actually, I think that because much like with Limbo, the, the game did not push for a hyper-realistic art style that, there's a degree to which it's all in the sound design. So you can just mute it and then most things don't seem as bad. What are we inside? Xenon, that's the whole question, really. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So this is a this is a big pressure plate, and we need well, 18 more people on it. Also, that's that's something. That's probably fine. <laughs> rude puppies? You mean the terrifying attack canines who disembowel children? Those rude puppies? Yep, those that's the one. Got it in one. <laughs> Go up. So 
So I haven't, uh, I, I don't have a Switch, which means that for the most part, um, I can kind of ignore what's going on with the Nintendo Directs most of the time. But I still watch them because, like, uh, it's about 50-50. Sometimes they have, like, a, just a really fun energy to them, which I appreciate. Um, this week's was a little meh, but it did announce some some interesting remasters. Uh, and the one that, that is cracking me up constantly um, is actually the game that I am most excited about on the list. The one that's um, basically Octopath Tactics, I guess is probably the best way to describe it. I, I think a lot of people have made the same reference. It looks like Final Fantasy Tactics, but with Octopath Traveler's art style. Um, and Final Fantasy Tactics was a great game, and by all reports, Octopath Traveler had a great story, so that's a match made in heaven. Um, but also, like, I think it's called Project Triangle, which is not great, as names go. <laughs> And a lot of people pointed out that, oh, no, it's probably just, like, a, a temporary placeholder. I'm like, well, yeah, but Octopath Traveler was also a temporary placeholder title, and look where we are now. That one at least sounds interesting, whereas Project Triangle? Uh, Project, Project Triangle Strategy, that's so much worse. Can I move this? No, that's way too heavy. But the game looks great. I just really hope that they workshop something with the title before release. But, I mean, we already have stuff like Bravely Default, so there is Stranger out there. Alrighty. So, at this point, I'm just reminding myself of all of the things there are... Hang on, before we do this. That there are to interact with. Up. Up. There we go. What's over here? Don't like that light flickering. Okay, so we can go down this, but not up it. Because if we dropped off that ladder, we'd be stuck. So we're gonna we're gonna lower this instead, in hopes that. Uh, eh, there we go. Why is Bravely Default called that? I assume that it's a a, a lost in translation issue. I don't know the backstory on that one. That's just a whoa. That goes up anyway. Never mind. Doesn't matter. We should have taken the ladder. Whoops. All right, I saw some some friends over here. Hi, friends. Oh, a bunch of friends. Three, five, five friends, five friends. And there's a mind control hat up above. Good. Some more water. I think this is this might not be connected to the other body of water we found. So, underwater friend probably isn't here. We're going to keep swimming anyway, just to be safe. Insofar as anyone is ever safe inside. Can I climb up this? I genuinely forgot how dark some of the segments of this game were. It, it lured me in earlier with the, the nice like outside bits where there was sunset still happening. And it was kind of like, oh yeah, I can actually see what's going on. And now we have stuff like this where it's like, oh no, this is, this is limbo all over again. Wee! Please don't break, please don't break. Okay, you didn't break. I appreciate you! Okay, got it. And this gets us to mind control hat. Mind control hat! Oh, that's right! Now the mind control hat breaks off, but it's still working on its independent power source. Let's not think about that. Uh, can you all throw me up there? Is that how this works? Whoop! Yeah! There we go. From a game mechanic standpoint, brave means take your turn early, and default means defend and store your uh, your turn to take later. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And tap. So it's like D and D action economy of the game. Hi, friends. Hi. You don't have faces, but that's fine. You don't really need those. Pachonk. Alright, so let's see. We need... There's one already on there, so we'll need 20 total friends on the pressure plate 
to move to whatever the next area is. Uh, and so far... Oh, you're right. We don't have a face either. That's a good point. Whoop. It's less obvious that we don't have a face because we have hair. Whereas they just have, like, actual golf ball heads. Yep. Okay, that lets me see stuff over there, but I'm going to guess we have to go down. Are you all going to be there if I jump? Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not going to hold it against you. Okay, now with all of us... Doo -doo 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 -doo, we can... Oh, I understand! I understand now why this exists. Okay. Alright, so... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Underneath the hole... Stay. In addition to the, the sound design that makes this game feel really immersive, um, the moving of objects, uh, the the just kind of inertia that everything has, is really good. Um, and the... Oh, nice, now they do it automatically. <laughs> they've, they've begun thinking independently. This is probably fine. Um, but at the same time, like a lot of games that, that have that pseudo-physics element... Um, it, it kind of causes the gameplay itself to go bad as a result, uh, or to, to not be as reliable, but this one um, does a lot of really good, like, snap to effects, so that it's like, okay, you're clearly going in the right direction, we're just going to say you jumped at the ladder, um, which is nice. It's very, very nice. This seems important. I'm taking this box with me. I pull this thing. Oh, right, and then... So it's another of the, the boost boxes. Okay. Donk. This is a sequence we're going to have to do, like, a few times, where you get a, a boost box, uh, and then, like, while it's in the air, you have to move something else underneath it. Which I kind of like. It works out pretty well. Oh, y'all have hard hats! Good. It's good that we have some OSHA compliance down here. I also have something like a hard hat. We're going to go with that. It glows. I'm the light source. Um, we're doing better than your average Smash Brothers stage, but that's not really saying much. That's how they survive the fall. Helmets. Yeah, it's, you know. Why is it on your butt? For protection. There we go. Can we do that again? Is there more? Oh, here we go. I can crawl in now. I did it. How long are we going? About an hour? We're trucking. Uh, I hear dags. Yeah, I think I got rid of the uptime command because Twitch kind of actually finally added that to their interface. Finally. No. 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 So, I was wrong about that being the last dog sequence. No. No. Okay, I think that's another one of the collectibles. Downtime. <laughs> oh, that would be a wonderful and terrible command. I wonder if I can make one that detects how many frames we've dropped since... Uh, or how many frames we've dropped in the current stream. I don't think that's a number that is, is captured. I'll have to check. Aww. Up we go. So the, the two collectibles that we found so far, unfortunately, I think are two of the only ones I've ever found, and there are like 20. Um, so I don't think we're going to get the secret ending. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've already missed a whole bunch. There is a cool thing towards the end um, that gives us an idea of 
which ones we've missed. Kind of like the green stars in uh, Super Mario 3D World, um, which is is very nice. Being able to tell, like, here's the sequence we expected you to get these things in uh, for collectathons is hugely valuable. All right. We're going to go to the third floor. Because I think I need y'all up top. But I might be wrong. There we go. I love that the kid, because he's a little kid, when he moves the lever to the top floor, is actually hanging off of it and his feet aren't touching the ground anymore. Oh, right, there's the, the crate of friends. The crate of friends. Y'all will probably be fine, right? Okay, good luck. I'm sure they're fine. What's a little gravity between friends? The way the mind control people are all very faceless, but have just enough variety that you realize they used to be actual people. Yeah. Between the, the, the slight variations on the clothing, it's very good. Uh, can y'all throw me at an angle? Hey. Yes, you can. All right, stay there. Please don't follow me. That would be bad for everyone. Hi? Oh. You're... You're not an alive one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just remembered what this one is for. The pressure plate is below us. It doesn't need to be 20 living bodies. Oh, that's the worst. Everything in this game is the worst. Okay, let's not go that way. Mostly because we can't. Why do the dogs run away when they open that hibachi grill? It's a good question. Um,. Because I haven't collected all of them, I don't actually know what the collectibles are. They look sort of like... If you've ever been to the planetarium, the the projector, that big, like, ball with all the weird uh, uh, lights socketed into it, they look like that to me. And I don't know if that's indicative of what they are, or just like a cool, hey, it's a sci-fi orb kind of a thing. All right, we dropped our crate full of friends this way. Let's go collect them. They're probably worried about us. And we're dropping some more frames, but it's fine. The dead pigs were foreshadowing. That's a really good point. Yep, they're fine. Look at that. No problem. Oh, like sea mines. That's a good point. <laughs> sea mine. Ah, Hot Fuzz was such a strange and wonderful movie. And up. How long does it take Element Matrix to sync on login? For me, pretty darn quick. I would say five seconds. Um, don't know what's going on in the background there. Yeah, this is also like the chicks were foreshadowing this. So the whole farmland section was a way of saying, hey, guess what? Wait till you'll find out what the bathysphere was foreshadowing. Oh no, Xenon. I hope you were able to unbreak it. Alright, let's see how many people we have. Not enough. We're miss oh, hang on. The body. It still won't be enough, but at least, like... Five more. Alright. Where have I not found people? Let's, um... I think I didn't go far enough left. I opened that gate and I assumed that if there were friends there that they would come and find us, but I may not have put them in range of the mind control hat. So, I'll fix that. If I jump, do y'all jump? No. It's not, it's not a perfect sink. It's just a stay close to me thing. They're also all barefoot, which is troubling. There we go. Four to go. Okay. Uh, listen. Same as before. Oh, 
Oh, well, that didn't really work. Oh! Got it. Momentum puzzle. Right. Stay there. Get about here. Oh, ah. Gotta do it a little sooner. But that's the idea. It is kind of interesting how they just sort of have stopped perfectly copying what we're doing. Eh. Hey! I think that's exactly the four we need. All right, everyone, back on the switch. God, look at this just gaggle behind us. There's no, I'm like, I was trying to eyeball count how many we have. No, that's not happening. We have like three hard hats, though, so that's a good start. Right, it's the friend parade. Good thing whiplash isn't a problem if you're mind controlled. Yeah, there's a lot of things that their bodies seem to be able to endure and remain functional, which, in fairness, is also kind of a human condition. But you know, the whole clearly they're not able to feel pain thing probably is is a factor. All right, so now. We did it! You guys are the best. I won't forget you. Hey, there's not a reason you're not following me in here, right? It's, like, dangerous? Because I'm hearing that thing, and it sounds bad, but... It, you know, it's better. You guys just stay here. Uh, guard the button. This part reminds me of, um... Woo! Uh... Not Lemmings. What's the other? Pikmin. Pikmin if you were all the little, like, alien dude. God, this still feels like a control level. Whoop! Okay, well, that's bad. Wait for it. So there's a light. And then... A shockwave. And you really do not want to be out there when the shockwave hits. <laughs> Any plan where you lose your hat is a bad plan. Hey, fire the base cannon! Hey, neighbor, could you turn down the subwoofer, maybe? Run, little child. Oof, that's fine. But yeah, I don't know if it's the sound design, because, like, all the sound disappears for a split second before that thing goes. And, um, it... Uh, it, it, something about the sound design reminds me of a lot of the moments in Control. Oh no, I want to do... hang on. Let's put this up here. I want you, like, here. Alright, so we're going to put that in sequence. Let's make sure if it works. Yes, okay. Because I want it to be where we are when the boom hits so that it can defend us and then we wait for a boom boom wait for another boom just stay behind our friend cool cool Oof. Ah, darn it. Okay. Okay, I need to wait. I need to wait. Boom. Jump. Second boom. Jump. Got there. Oh, oh no. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Yeah, the sonic boom will um, turn us into mulch. 
Mulch is good for gardens. It is not good to be when you're a 10 year old child. Oh, right, and then there's this thing. Uh, were those crash test dummies not friends? Good question. Good questions all. I think I went too early. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just assume those were crash dummies. I mean in all but name, right? Goes when it's up. Goes again when it's down. There. There we go, we're good. Woo. I love this one, like, long organ note that we're hearing now. It's a very just hopeful sound that just quietly emerges in the middle of that sequence. Did I forget how to open this door? I might have forgotten how to open this door. Oh wait, is there a... there's a thing. There we go. Button. We need to go deeper! That was a fun game. Whoop! That's unfortunate. Um... Well... Rip. This is fine. This is fine. Swim down. Swim down. Open the door. Air. Air. Okay. Okay. We're good. We made it. Yeah, the kid just looks exhausted. Which, I mean, understandable. Oh, tell me this is not a hold. Yeah, the way the machinery shakes and wobbles, it's just, it's all good. Come on, don't get squished. Okay. Did not get squished. That's item number one on the to-do list. <laughs> yeah. Cool. More, more water. This is fine. We don't have a bathysphere, so that's fine and good and fine and good and fine. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, hang on. I think I remember this one. So then this button brings that out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So what we have to do is, like, uh... This one first, and this one, and then we come back to this one, so we can run over here, and then do that. That took me so long the first time. And it's just, it's simple order of operations. Now that you're here, I also myth bass is here. R.I.P. Bathy. 2021 to 2021. You will be missed. Nope. Down the hatch. Whoop. Oh, hi. Hi there. Uh, you have tendrils? I don't remember you having tendrils before. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I said I'm just gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's just get as much of a leap as we can on this. Nice little head start. Get to the other rope. Ooh. 
them just sink a little bit, let them forget. Let them sink into the Lethe. Hang on, wait a minute, there's a ladder up there. Ladder. The further away from water we get right now, the happier I am. Hooray. Oh no. Oh no, Mr. Bill. Geronimo! <laughs> Can we close that door? No? Okay, cool thought. Woof. Oh. Okay, we're gonna just take a take a breath, take a moment, take a moment. Alright. <clears throat> so, um, we're probably going to get grabbed a couple times in this sequence. So uh, if you, like me, are uh, someone who does not like the thought of drowning uh, and visuals related to that bother you, um, now might be a good time to hit the restroom, grab a drink, give yourself a couple of minutes, and then we should be past this sequence after that. Come on, little kid. Come on, little kid. Come on, little kid. Freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. Okay. And we're good. That's a chain. There's a chain on that pole. Oh no. I don't I don't want to be here. Oh, oh wait, right, 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 right. It's got a hook because we're the bait, you see. This is a fine and good thing. Alright, so the way this works. Uh, because it goes out and back on its own. We're going to hit the button. We're going to dangle our toesies in the water way over here. And then the chain is going to bring us back to the platform. And that way we've lured Water Friend way on out here. <laughs> and they should stay there. Because until we touch the water, they don't, uh, they don't see us. So that gives us enough time. To get through here. Close that door behind us. Faster, faster, faster would be better. Okay. Holy crap, we did that in one. Up. Yep. Up. There we go. A little backswing just to be safe. Whoop. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. It's probably fine. What could go wrong? In this great big horror compound under the world. Whoop. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stream a horror game, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I'd rather be sailing. Can I lift this? I lift it from here. Yes. Hey, a chunk. Down the hatch. Hit the button. Nope, too much. Not enough button. And that was the end of us. This one always throws me because you have to you have to hit the button to let the door raise a little bit, but then you also I think need to close it to keep kid from following. I think that's right. Let me just try going through the door. Let me see if I'm if I'm remembering wrong. I don't want to be making this unintentionally too difficult for myself. See, Waterfront just wants hugs. Yeah, yes, that's and I was correct. Yeah, we need to be able to close the door behind us. Woof. Such good hugs. Bad Road, remember you said that, because that'll be relevant later. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna give it a give it a three count. And then go through. Two, three. That's not nearly enough. I'm doing something wrong on this one. I gotta remember I gotta remember how I did this before. 
Because that's not nearly enough time. Oh, what if it's... No, that doesn't make sense, because the only way forward is there. Never mind. I was going to say, what if I need to, to, like, bait her through the water and then go back and end up on this side, but I don't think that actually helps us any. Uh, no, I could splash down there. That isn't going to help. I've done this before, and I've forgotten how I've done it. It may just be down to timing. We may already be doing the right thing. Yep. Hey, yeah. Bless you, hon. Really wish I had a flashlight right now. Yeah, we can't even make that door. Hmm. Alright, I think I've got to hit the button and go through the door and hope to find safety on the other side. Because I've clearly misremembered. Oh! Oh! Bad road, you're so right. You're so right, and I think we've done a puzzle like this before, so I should have remembered. The idea is to do that. No, oh, come on! Really? Rude. But yes, open the door, then swim back to the hatch, immediately let the door finish opening, swim down, hit the button, and go on through with it closing behind us. Of course, of course, of course, of course, it seems so obvious. Yep. Just gonna give it a little love tap, and then whoop. None for you. Now, we dip a toesies. I don't know that we actually lured them properly. I don't think we did. I think we have to wait for them. Yep. There we go. Enjoy, Christy. Good luck with the thing. I say enjoy. I don't know if it's actually an enjoy thing or if it's more of like a chore thing. But good luck with it, because that kind of works regardless. There we go. Thank you, Bad Road. You helped unstick my brain. Did you? Let's get some more oxygen now that I know where I'm going. I say get some more oxygen. Again, we don't really have an indicator, so I'm just kind of assuming that breaching refills whatever invisible breath meter we have. Stands to reason, right? Or I'm not because there's a queue. I mean, that's fair. Oh no, oh no, 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 but, no, no. Oh. Well, rip. Or is it? Down, down, goblin town. Paul Picard, he can get rid of a Q. Aw, oh, bad road. That's the worst. I love it. Oh. We have a thing. It's it's on our chest now. It has a light and a pipe, and it's doing me a concern. Uh, yeah, I think Water Friend is turning us into a Water Friend. Seems to, that seems to be the mode here. Hello, fish. Turns out Water Friend was a friend all along. But they can only help us if we're in this specific area, because if they can't get us to a plug fast enough, we just drown, I assume. Oh no, someone dropped their ring light. Okay, fish, could you not eat me while I'm figuring out how to be a water person? Woo, there we go. Thank you. Fucker. Nope, turns out I'm fine. Oh, don't like those things in the foreground, though. Come with me, fish. I will show you the ways of the land people. 
and then one day we conquer. But not that way. Yeah, I love the, like, the staircase in the background. It looks like a hotel or a mall or something. It doesn't really look like a government facility. <laughs> We're the land stander. We stand on the land. Let's get on from the light again because it's nice and pretty. And not think about the stuff that's floating in the foreground because that way lies sadness. There we go. This game is all about being followed by gaggles of friends and <laughs> nothing else. See, first it was the, the little like baby chicks and then the, you know, the faceless people. And now it's the fish, you know, just perfectly ordinary, friendly things that don't want to hurt us at all. How to bond with your friends. Step one, put on a mind control helmet. I used to have dreams about being able to breathe water. That is so much better than the dreams that I used to have about being underwater. They didn't involve the second part. Yeah, all the... All the, the bits of background that this game does is extremely good. And again, I know I made the comparison to Little Nightmares earlier, but like, there's that scene where Six is walking across a rope in between sections of the ship, and it zooms out the same way, so you get this sense of scale where you are very tiny, and the place you're in is huge and vast. Whoop. Do you think it was the same underwater friend both times? That's a good question, actually. I think so. Whoop. That's... Oh... I was about to say, there goes some bodies, but I'm pretty sure that was, there goes a body. We're going to hang on for a moment, because I think this is like the Sonic area. Not the Hedgehog, but like, Sonic Weapon area. Okay. Go through. And we hold on. And we wait. Whoop! <laughs> It's fine. Just, just think small. This is fine. Christy said it perfectly earlier that inside really is just this is fine. The game. Oh, oh well. Here, up, here, there we go. Oh, right, the spotlight. I thought it was ambient lighting. It was actually a spotlight. Oh, good, boy is amphibious now. He can shoot with his right hand, he can shoot with his left. All right, cool. Gonna wait for you to go chase the light. Oh no, we want no, that's the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. So we're gonna have to move this arm uh in stages. And also anticipate where it's gonna create a shadow so that we can stay in the shadow. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Okay. Good. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That was close. That was close. Nope. Went too far. Nope. Nope. Kid. Other way. Just. We're just gonna wait. Gonna wait for a cycle. Uh, oh no! I went too far. So this one's a little fiddly, just because the shadow moves. Which is kind of the point. But also, uh, if you're like me and you occasionally look at chat at a very bad time, 
then that is where the death lives. Tasty, tasty death. Tasty death. Who doesn't love a little death in the morning? Um, yeah, I could phrase that better. Or worse, I guess. Let's let you go past. I'm self-aware, but usually like a moment too late, you know? I realize that I've made a mistake just after I've made it. Alright, go ahead and make use of this time. Now we have to run. Ooh. Cool, 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 cool. Now we follow it back the other direction. There. Because we really need it to shade us when we're on the ladder. Ooh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey yeah. He's gone too far. He knows too much. Hey, those are my lines. Uh, yep, this is fine. It's cool. We can breathe down here now. Let's see, was there a thing on the wall here? There might not be. This might just be a, a way to land safely. Yeah. Okay. It's funny because the lighting occasionally reminds me of Alan Wake and the backdrops remind me of Control, so it has a lot of that, like, remedy formula in it. Ooh. Those are folks floating on the ceiling, back to the whole it reminds me of Control part. Oh no. That's probably fine. What does this do? Don't want that. Oh, how pleasant and not at all awful. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, hello. Where are you? Oh, you're way back. This goes into the... That's why I thought there was something on the side of the tank, because there was. Alright, let's try that again. So that gets us back up top. Let's go all the way to the right and see what else there is in this room. <laughs> I want to swim in the ceiling water! That's a phrase that you don't get to say a lot, huh? Alright, so let's see if I can jump this. Whoop! Again! It's like a server room, only people are the computers. Or the power supplies. Uh, that's a button hanging up there. Things keep breaking when I'm computer touching. Xenon, you just described my entire life in, uh, in tech support. Suffice it to say, my sympathies, because it's the worst. It does not feel good. I can link you the Matrix, though. It is kind of Matrix-esque. That's assuming that those are computers. They're, they have a little light on them, and they're box-shaped, but there are lots of things that that describes that are not, strictly speaking, computers. Reading TV tropes, apparently you didn't pull the pig's tail off. There was some sort of mind-control worm that made it aggressive. That, that actually makes me feel better. Thank you. I was convinced that was the big tail. Oh, oh, I get it. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Right by the button. Whoop. No, I think I think Badro was actually talking about the Matrix Matrix, although I could be wrong. Uh Hmm. Should I be doing like this? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals. It did look like there were just people floating in a weird space. You know, as people are wont to do. Oh, right. 
Oh no, my joke made sense and I ruined it. Also, story of my life. Whoop. There we go. We're taking this one with us. So now we have an Upsidasium block. Oh, that's why this door shuts. Right, 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 right. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. So we do one of these. Okay. Wait by the button. Wait for it. I also love these boxes a lot. There we go. Now it'll be waiting for us up top. We already figured out the shortcut by mistake. <laughs> There's a lot in this uh, in this uh, almost regrettably short game, although I don't honestly know that I would want this to be like a 12-hour game. Um, but for what it is, Inside introduces a lot of really cool little mechanics in a short amount of time. Which makes it pretty much a perfect puzzle game. Let's go get our new friend. Oh, hang on. Uh, so we're going to... Here's how this is going to work. We're going to pull you. Do that. Hey, we're in the ceiling water! Oh, I changed my mind. It's horrible up here. I hate it. I also want Water Friend's chest plug. That's true. That's pretty good. That's probably not important, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. Let's just let that go. Oh, they're they're twitching. Good. That that's better. That's way better. Okay. Okay. It does look like a control rod, honestly. Realizing I'm leaning back away from my mic because it's a horror game and that just makes me lean away from the screen. Because, as we all know, that helps. The monsters can't get you if you're far away from your laptop. So what you're saying is I should not sneak up on you at a tense moment. Probably not, no. I've seriously, and I, I might still, because I don't have a whole lot of respect for my own ability to not be embarrassed. Um, I've considered streaming the first little bit, at least, of uh, Alien Isolation. Oh! Yes. Which is a horrifying game. Also, brilliantly so done. Um, a very, very good video game, in addition to being absolutely terrifying. Um, so, you know, that's fun. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that for Halloween. Okay. Oh, no, no. No, no. You see nothing. There's just a box here. I painted Solid Snake was here on the side. Ignore that. What's fun about this game is it's an entire phobia. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Oh no, they're taking our cage full of friends. Also, thank you for the quote, Bad Road. The thing that, that I'm reminded of, so I've got Alien Isolation um, on PC, but I originally had it on Xbox. And the thing that it reminds me of uh, or that it reminds me every time that I boot it up is that it was one of the games that actually made full use of Kinect support. Um, and it essentially was kind of a, a proto VR where if you have the Kinect enabled while playing Alien Isolation and you move while the, the Xenomorph is hunting you or make a noise like in real life, um, <laughs> then the Kinect would pick it up and then the alien would know and it would find you and kill you. Which, if I didn't live in a house with four cats, I might consider because it's a very cool idea. Honestly, but you should do it, do it anyway. You should do it anyway with the cats, let them kill us. And, like, do that for stream. That's fair. Oh, we're bringing the ceiling water down now. That's, that's cool and not at all horrible. All right, let's leave that there. We'll swim up. We'll move this buoyant crate. Ozzy, you got be eaten by an alien. I mean, they do that enough on actual games that don't involve, uh, like, connect tracking, but that one's much more uh, uh, tense. Uh, I forgot where this needs to go, so I'm going to put it here. And we'll try to use it for a platform, maybe. Oh, no, wait, hang on. I think I need it... I think I need it here. So that I can jump up into the ceiling water when it's higher up, I think. I think that's right. Whoop. Good catch, kiddo. 
Nope, okay, we'll go up with this. And I stopped getting audio for some reason. Give me just a moment. Hopefully that's not making terrible noises for y'all. I'm going to just reset my audio inputs here. Let's do that. Audio mixer, what happened to you? Why did you go to a weird place? Sorry about that. Oh good, at least y'all weren't hearing anything terrible. Alright, so we need to bring this down, I think, a little bit. So that we can jump to it, but not so that the door closes. Yeah, I'm still not hearing sound. Alright, hold tight. That's so strange. You know, while we're doing this nice little bit of troubleshooting, and while we're in a relatively safe location, at least relative to inside, um, we're about at the two-hour mark. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is a pretty good excuse to, to do a, a be right back. So grab yourselves uh, something to uh, drink or snack on, hit the restroom if you need to. We'll be back in uh, just a few minutes once I've finished troubleshooting this thing. All right, I think we are back in business. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> of course, I say that and immediately end up <laughs> trying to choke. Always a good start. All this talk about drowning, and here I am trying to do it on dry land. Yeah, that's so weird. So uh, to give an idea of, of what I'm hearing, 
Um, I was able to hear the music just now, and I can see that OBS is still picking up the game audio, but it's not giving me the game audio, and that's odd, EO. So we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to go. Luckily, I played this one before, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, all right, so I'll bring that down to like there. Float you up, but not too high. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to do this as a um, as a run where I'm not hearing anything. Ram you, and it was working for the first part of the stream, and then it just sort of stopped, and I don't know why. All right, if y'all also aren't getting game audio, then that tells me that something weird is going on. All right, let's pull up the mixer here. We'll do it live. It's fine. Here we go. Volume mixer. Hi there. Okay, you're fine. And you believe that the game is making some noise. I'm gonna move the water up and see. Mostly it's the, the door. The door's opening should be audible. Oh, right, I have to drop the box. There we go. So if y'all are also not hearing the doors opening, let me know. Because if it's just me, then we're fine. Door opening, box dropping, all quiet. Okay. Then there is something still wrong. All right. Come on down, kid. You just uh, hop in here. Okay, now I'm hearing them again. What the crap? It was just that room? Are you hearing the footsteps? I'm hearing the footsteps again. I don't know what happened. That was so strange. Alright, well now we don't have to worry about friend. I wonder if it just left the like muted audio of being underwater on the whole time? And it didn't reset properly? I don't know. These are guesses. Guesses we're making here. Oh! Hi! Oh no, I went too far. I realized... I realized too late that the wisest and best is to focus on what's good and beautiful. If we can only take the time to see it. So I love this. We're up here and we can see the, like, let's call them agents down below. But it's kind of hard to tell where the surface tension is. I'm just going to wait for them to leave the room and hope that they don't look up. Because as we know, gamers don't look up. What a couple of gamers. All right, down we go. Hey! All right, that's, oh, 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 hate that. Oh, hate that. Oh, hey, y'all are, are independently moving now. But you're still following me even though I don't have the helmet. I'm sure that's fine. I guess I left an impression. They imprinted on you. Well, they won't go back to the nest now, I know that much. As long as y'all are here. Yep. Nope. Yep. All right, so I need something to get even higher, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah, there were uh there were incomplete bodies. Um some of the ones that are with us are also kind of uh, uh, asymmetrical at, uh, at, you know. Hey, Katie! This one of them, their video games? I mean, if it is, we should probably get out of here. I've heard bad things about those. Uh, let's see. Can I... Oh, right, 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 right. Hey! Bring that water down. 
Come on, friends. This way to glory. I do, do, do. And now they can fling me up into the water. The ceiling water, you know. Just like mom used to make. I love that we can see them down below. That that makes me happy. All right, now we have... I was going to say we have one shot, but really I just I want to not have to redo this. So let's see if we can hit this button on the way down. We did it! I feel bad for that one guy who's trying to follow you but doesn't have enough legs. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of us have days like that. Oh, we're picking up hard hat friends. Good to have that extra OSHA compliance with us. Whoop, nope, that's a hole. That's a I found a hole. Okay, it's not a death hole. So Oh no, it was. We were just it just took a moment for them to catch up. <laughs> I thought that seemed a little like, you know, a far fall. Okay, we're gonna do one of these again. Yep. Eat the child. Alright, and then they all fall down there. And uh Oh, it's the it's the thing. This is the screenshot from like the the game preview thing. Anyway, it's fine. Uh hmm. Now what? Okay, can like I can see stuff there, but I can't really do anything there. Oh wait, hang on. They fell down the hole. Now they can catch me. Right, 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 right. Catch me! Thanks, friends. You're the best. Same hat, Al. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is... Okay, so this, with this elevator I can bring y'all back up. Please don't get squished into the ceiling. We don't need a Mission Impossible moment. No squish! Item one on the agenda is no squish. Oh, oh, right. Okay, now I can walk y'all this way. But I want Squish. I mean, whom's among us does not want Squish. Can I just walk y'all out? I can! There they go. Just one big pile of friends. This way, pile of friends. Now we can all ride the elevator together. Luckily, it seems like it's freight. Whoop. Oh, it's nice of y'all to hold me while we're just sort of standing here. You don't you don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Yeah, we're, now we're at the part that definitely looks like a facility. Accompanied by the ominous tone in the background. Whoop. There they go. It's just so huge. Stop. Stop the thing you're doing. <laughs> and Ali, you. Alright, listen, you guys, uh, wait there. I'll go get help. <laughs> that is what she said. I mean, it's certainly what she cackled at. It is kind of phallic, to be fair. That's true. Has a very siloy sort of thing to it. Those microfiche readers? Man, that takes me back. Do those still exist? I feel like those still exist. Okay, cool. If you never used a, a microfiche machine in uh, like a, a public or a school library, they made them. Hi. They made the most satisfying kachunk sound whenever they they uh, moved. It was pretty great. See you later, Al. Enjoy. Oh, hello, random stranger. You're not here to catch us. You're just running away from something, or towards something. Oh yeah, towards something. All right. Uh, hey, golf cart. So, what are we looking at? Okay, 
Y'all keep watching that. I'm gonna steal this desk. Up the ladder we go. Oh, and then we can definitely do not climb an electrical cord. That's a horrible idea. Especially because this is like... I got the impression from some of the technology and the fact that they were still smoking indoors that this is 40s or 50s era. It's got that, that pulp sci-fi horror feel to it. Oh, this is a pull? Pull. Got it. Oop. Hey. All right, everyone's looking down into a big tank. But that means they're not looking at us, so I'm going to count that a win. Uh, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Still stuck. Uh, this is a problem. I hmm. I think I fell into a weird space. Can I? Oh no, game is just totally unresponsive now. Hold, please. Okay, it's the controller. I fix. Listen, it wouldn't be one of my streams without a variety of technical issues. Starting with the audio problems. There we go. And we're good. Yep. Yeah. Whoop! To the ladder! To the wall! Can I open this? Open this thing. Cool. Can we jump to that? Do we want to jump to that? We're doing it. We've done it. Okay. Uh. Alright, and then we can, like... Right, leave that there. This is now a platform. Letter! Yeah, this is the part that always reminds me of Control. Just has that, that same level of who would build this, and why, and for what purpose? Science! That whole kind of thing. Hey, hi! Well, we know we can breathe underwater now. So, let's remove whatever these things are. Those probably aren't important. That's why they're in red. Oh, there's a fan below us, but now... Does that mean we can go up? No. Can we... Go this way? Oh yeah, here we go. What's this do? Aha! We did it. Now we can find out what this thing is. Oh, it's an aperture. Who doesn't love a good aperture? Ah. Well, hmm. If we turn this back on, does it have a wind-up period? Seems like the answer is yes. Just a moment to swim down. Oh. Whee! Oh hi! I'm the experiment now. Hello! Look at me! It's the it's the amazing ten-year-old who can breathe underwater and talk to chickens. It's fine. Listen, I'm just gonna borrow this though. I need it. Okay. I can't use that. Oh! Oh! Oh right. Hi. Hello. Everyone. Glad to see that you're all assembled here. There we go. It's not not loving the undulations, but listen, I'm not here to judge. There we go. No, listen, it's fine. One more, just what? Well, we are the friends now. 
Turns out the real us were the friends we made along the way. Now that we have many limbs, 20 limbs can buy many peanuts. Ooh. Hey. That's probably fine. Oh, that's a lot of glass. Doop. Hey, woo. Yahoy. Hi, friend. Okay, we're just gonna go down the stairs, nice and neat. Nailed it. Hi, buddy. Oh, aw. Man, rude. It's it's all the noises the us are making that is just maybe the best slash worst part of it. Can I grab this? No. Hey, listen, I uh, I respect that you want some time alone, and I, I get that. But also, I need to borrow this door. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right, let's, let's grab. Yep, right on through. Sorry, sorry. Listen, um, I'm just... I'm all left legs today, you know? Oh, oh gosh. Hey, it's the friends. Hi, friends. Come with me, the friends. Follow me to freedom. But, like, literally this time. Whoop. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Reach for it. Aw, you guys. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. There we go. You must ask yourself, have you ever just wanted to be potato? Nope, still falling. Hi. Sorry, this is a nice diorama you have. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. And a ranch. There we go. Cool. Can we go over? Yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, good. We got to the chunky bit. Yeah. This is my favorite bit. Let's just go over that lip. Come on. Terry, Sue, Phil, we can do this. And yep, straight on through to the side. Ah, da, da, da. Whoop. Perfect. Look at us working together. In we go. I looked away for a bit. How did Shogoth happen? Uh, so we went to go see what was in the big vat that all the scientists were looking at, and we tried to free it. It had a bunch of those uh, Water Girl plugs attached to it. And uh, before we could remove the last one, the blob kind of slurped us in. So, hi, buddy. Oh, that's going to end bad for you, huh? Ooh. Dang. Sorry, Rodrigo, you just kind of have that person all over you, huh? Okay, we can't go that way. So, let's go, yeah, let's go wash off. Let's go wash off. That's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah, all right. Uh, can we... Something we can bring with us? It is! <laughs> Coming through, hot plate, hot plate. Oh, nice, we can caber toss. Oh, oh, that's a button. That's not a light. Okay, so we... It's fine. All right. Come, nope, hang on. Anna, I need you to... Come on, Harry. Work with me here. There we go. All right. Ooh. Nope. Oh, God. Almost. Almost. Nope. Ah, oh, too far. That's all right. That's all right. Good, good first try. Let's just raise it up. Okay. Okay. All right. Got to get under the thing first. And tip. Yep. Oh, almost. All right, no, it's all right. Listen, just gotta, just gotta focus, gotta visualize, then execute. Up, up. Nope. It's a little fiddly. It's a little fiddly. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. No, it's cool. Cool. Raise it. Yay! Look at us. Hi, dogs. Pardon us, dogs. I've forgotten how organic this bit is. I think... Oh, hang on. Uh, was it was it Polygon who did a thing? Somebody did a thing that was explaining, like, how this bit came to be. 
uh, which was pretty cool, explaining how they made the friend orb. Well, that didn't work at all. Uh, hey dogs, would y'all mind just standing on this thing for a little bit? It's probably a box. Uh, can we bring the caper? We can bring the caper! <laughs> come on, you're dogs. You like sticks, right? Let's play fetch. Come on, come on. Come get the stick. Come get the stick. Okay, now if we could throw this. Just drop that there. Climb up on top of this. And away. Slurp. Nicker. Hey! Over the train tracks. Oh no! Oh! Oh! I made a mistake. Oh. This is fine. Uh. Hmm. It looks like dogs don't want to mess with the show yet. I mean, yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, could you let us through? No. Okay. Hang on. All right. Just. I'm going to wait over here. It's like. It's like it's like working with a cat. You just just get over away from them and let let them work. There we go. Thanks, friend. You're a pal. There we go. Oh hi. Oh no. Not stopping there. Uh are we supposed to go down the tiny hole? I don't want to go down the tiny hole. I want to go through the door. Can't go. Can we get back across it? Wee! Yeah, we can. Uh, you know, let's let's just see what's down there. I mostly want to see if we can get through it. Yep. Everybody think thin? There we go. Ow. Sorry about that. That's rough. Are these people helping us escape or just hoping we'll leave? Uh, given the looks on their faces, I'm pretty sure that they're they're hoping that we'll leave. But doing so effectively helps us escape, so, you know. Potato, potato. That... That's an incinerator thingy. I chose the wrong time to start chewing gum! <laughs> oh no! Uh, light up above? I think is the thing. Nailed it. Look at that. Nothing but net. Into the water. I wish we could bring Water Girl with us. That would be great. There we go. That's... Uh, hmm. That's fire. We don't want to go where the fire is. I've learned one thing. It's that we don't want to go where the fire is. But, what if... Box. What if box? Dun, 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 dun. Back we go. Just a, a blob in their box. Okay, so, here's, here's the plan, right? Okay, it's already a bad plan. I'll merit you that. Oh. Uh, okay, but hang on. What if we... Catch it! Catch it! Ooh! Thanks, Steve. Good call. And to tap. Okay, no, Roberta, I need you to move it. Th there we go. Thank you. All right, cool. And, uh, catch it! Nope, not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. All right, that's fine. Listen, we've got the, we've got the fundamentals. We know what we need to do. I think I wasn't close enough. da 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 Let's just let's just try and put more of the legs on the bottom this time, huh? What do you say? Look at that! Look at that! Beautiful, smooth as silk. All right. Um, I forgot what we're doing with the thing, but we sure have a box that's on fire. Oh, do we put it in the fireplace? We sure do. Woo. There's a tube with a little flame icon on it. That really should have been a clue. And up we go. 
Oop, hang on, this is gonna be rough, buddy. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work. Grab this. There we go. And up. Can we reach that thing? And, uh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Wee! -hee -hee. Hi, everybody, it's us. Remember us? Good running start. And, yep. No, okay. I think we're gonna need this to be closer. This is our runway. Alright, so we want. We want this to be somewhere that we can get that thing from. Welcome back, Xenon. I hope it was a good burger. I think that's going to be close enough. Whoop. <laughs> Welcome back. We're a horror. I mean, yeah. This is my favorite. Oh, where the... I just realized where the, the wrecking ball. This thing is just the crane. Come on. Hi, everyone. Oops. Oh, that looks expensive. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's uh, my idiom. Well, you know, as long as we're here. Oop. Nope, we cannot jump as Blob. That's fine. That, that makes sense. Up and around. Whoop. There we go. The potato is free! Oof. I heard a scream, but I'm not sure if that was us or some of the scientists. It's hard to say, you know? Yep. Hey, uh, buddy, could you... Could you pull the string on this for me? Oh, thanks. You're a pal. Look at that teamwork. Yeah, oh, aw. All right. Hey, sorry, um, I, I hate to ask for this again. We hit it the first time, it's just that I didn't understand. It was a timed puzzle. You know how those go. And we're through! This is a game about teamwork. Oh, no, no, I need that. No, give me, give me the thing. No, I, I, I want it. Give me the thing. Give it. Uh, oh, well, you know, that's fine. That's fine. We can just peel the walls off. Right, it's about what we can accomplish as a team. This is a game about collective action. The blob is actually a union. There we go. And there we go. No sweat. Squeeze. Squeeze. I just... I love how we move. This is like in Dark Souls. I mean, I think there is actually a boss like this in the first Dark Souls Right, the Pile of Corpses Union. Brian David Gilbert talked about that. Alright, everybody, work together. There we go. Tumble this way. And away we go. Whoops, oh no. Uh, well... That's okay, maybe that's fine. 13 minutes left on my Hitman 2 download. It's on a hard drive. Nice. It's room for games and video. Are we supposed to... I can't remember if I'm supposed to hammer into this or... Yep, that is correct. Oh no, we're outside now. 
Oh, I, well, well uh, mm, this is a problem. Nothing to be done about it now. <laughs> just, just gotta roll to the ocean, to the sunlight, through the fog. That's probably like a lighthouse or something. Well, no, it's a constant light. Maybe it's, maybe it's fine. <laughs> right outside. Now the game is outside. What, what a fun sequel that would be. <laughs> so I think on uh, on Mastodon, I described this as like a game with a happy ending. And Christy was like, I don't know that I agree with you on that. Um, but it, there's just something about the whole sequence from pretty much from the time when Watergirl gives you water breathing and you realize that you have friends inside. And then the becoming the the blob and going through the whole thing feels like a jailbreak um and i don't know i kind of love i kind of love how it ends it just it's it's a cute i'm very curious now about the the secret ending that you mentioned christy and i'm i probably am going to go back through this game um specifically and like uh find all the collectible ones i mentioned that there's a, a room and i think i can't remember if we just missed it or if we blew through it but there's a uh, a room that you can go into that has like the 21 lights and the collectibles that you found are lit up. So it's a great way towards the end of the game to look back and go, oh, here are the ones that I've missed and I know in what order, which is is nice. I like that as a feature for collectibles. Um, so I might, I mean, it's a short enough game. It would not take long to, to go back through. Um, and I think you can pretty much skip to any chapter you want, which is also a dope feature. But yeah, that's inside. It's... Um, even better, it's ambiguous whether we die or not, so it's extra art. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think the chapter select also shows you that. I love that they had like an in-universe thing for it, where it's just a room that shows like a map. Um, but also, the game is like you, you don't need to like remember where that map is to know where they are. I think. Uh, but yeah, that's the game. I like this game a lot. It's very pretty. It's. Uh... It's it's like engaging without being really like obnoxiously difficult, which is great for a puzzle game and kind of rare. Also great for great for a platformer in particular. So yeah, um, the only piece of bad news, I guess, and it's not really much in the way of bad news, is that uh, that that's it. That's the whole game. We're done. <laughs> so um, yeah, if the credits weren't any indication. So let's uh, chat just a, a little bit about next week, and then we'll no. wrap it up. No, no, next week does not exist. We are going to talk about it, though. Um, so because I could not get Sonic Adventure 2 working satisfactorily, and then even when I did briefly get it working, it was kind of bleh to actually play. Um, the next thing that's on the, the calendar, so starting next Saturday, uh, I'm going to start streaming a game called Omen Sight, which came out a couple years back um was kind of like a little hidden gem thing and honestly i really enjoyed it so um you know i'll see if y'all feel the same way that's going to take a, a few streams because it's kind of an interesting thing thank you christy it's good to have that reminder um although in good news in between when i had decided not to stream sonic adventure 2 and when we stream this tonight um there have been rumors that have been coming out that Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are getting an actual, like, port. Now, I don't know if those are confirmed yet, but it seems like from some folks inside that... Heh, <laughs> pun. Uh, it seems like from some folks that that may actually be happening, and it might even be happening this year. So, if there is a re-release, if there's an updated version of Sonic Adventure 2, you better believe we'll be streaming that, especially if there's also an announcement of a Sonic Adventure 3, and we can do the whole, like, ridiculous trilogy. So, that's a thing for later... But yeah, so next week we'll do Omen Sight. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. But be sure to check out in, I think, a couple hours, uh, roughly, give or take, um, the wonderful Xenon Fiber. We'll be streaming more Hitman's 2 uh, over on the uh, twitch.tv slash Xenon Fiber. And you can check out our whole schedule. If you hit bang schedule in the chat, I'll list all of our folks. Um, the Squirrel Elite channel, the Bad Road channel, all do a wonderful job uh, with the, the streaming, as well as Xenon, of course. And uh, I'd highly recommend checking out their stuff, because if you like any of the stuff that we do, chances are you're going to like their stuff better, to be honest. So uh, that's where I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, wonderful night. Stay warm and stay safe wherever you are. 
Uh, and I'll catch y'all around for the next one.